If you use social media to generate awareness of your business, build authority, or even to actually generate leads, then you'll know how time consuming it could be to deal with all the notifications and reply to messages and do all the essential things needed in order to play into the algorithms to get your posts seen by more people and therefore get more bang for your buck. This is a challenge that I faced daily in the in the early years when I did all of this myself. But over the years, I've got other people to do this for me effectively and I now teach our clients how to do the same. And today, I wanna share the tips and the systems that I've put in place, how you can start using them right now with an existing virtual assistant or maybe actually think about hiring a virtual assistant to do this for you, to actually just to take the pressure off, to free up some of your time, but still actually get all of this essential stuff done. And in fact, probably vastly improve your ability to react to comments, to act on notifications, to to generate better more leads more quickly by getting somebody else that's not you, the business owner, to do the hard work for you. Today, I wanna to cover all that and a little bit more. So the question is this, how do entrepreneurs like us who don't have an endless supply of cash, how do we leverage the best apps, virtual assistants, automation tools and systems to scale our businesses, increase our profits and have more time to do what we love to do each day? That is the question and this podcast will give you the answer. My name is Dr. Steve Day and this is Systemize Your Success. As with many of my episodes, this was inspired by a conversation I had with one of my coaching clients who was asking me about outsourcing their emails, something they've done pretty successfully using our unified inbox management system. And they were saying, like, when should they start doing the same for their social media? And I was like, oh, right, you've not done that yet. Yeah, now is the time. Because actually, social media is often a bigger time drain to do effectively than emails, because emails are more asynchronous. Whereas social media, even though obviously it is asynchronous, they're posting and you've got to post back, the algorithms like it when conversations are flowing, or so my understanding is, and today is not <clears throat> meant to be a 101 on marketing, so it shows social media marketing, it's meant to be a practical systems of how you get someone else to help you do stuff you're already doing or should be doing. So with that caveat, I believe that um, the algorithms like it when posts are commented on frequently, that when people like them, it then shows it to more people and then more people comment, they can get the conversations going and you can play the algorithm and that's apparently how you get things going viral. I'm not quite at the viral level yet, but I am at a level which means that my posts and the comments that people make on those posts and when people react to it or people message me, that I don't have to deal with that frontline stuff. That it means that I don't have to think about that at all and still we can play into the algorithms. And it's really simple to do and to set up. And it requires that you've got somebody in-house to do it. So for me, I use a virtual assistant for this. There are some pretty slinky new AI tools which can help you do this kind of thing. But A, the social media accounts ban you if they know you're using AI to or automate replying to posts, et cetera, et cetera. So be careful when you're using any sort of automation tools with social media. But secondly, you still need to know what you want this, the automation tool to do before you can get it to automate it. So i.e. get someone to do it for you first before you get it automated. Same with any automation you try and set up and any AI that you wanna use. And thirdly, someone's got to do the setting up the training and the monitoring of the automation tool. And if you're already tight on time and not properly doing social media, it's probably not you that should be doing that. So if we can get somebody in, train them up to do what you are doing, but do it better, and then they can then look at something like automation or AI going forward, that as a business owner is a far more effective use of your time to get you the end result without you having to spend all the time figuring everything out yourself. So that's my uh, two cents on automation and AI in case you're wondering why I'm not talking about that as a primary uh, way to manage your social media. So now we've established that we're going to get an assistant to help you to deal with your notifications. Let, talk, uh, let me just talk you through the strategy that we use in our business and then how you can apply it. So really simply, a couple of things that I believe have made the biggest difference. One is learning how to create simple flowcharts, so decision trees in this case. So if the if the comment is about this, go down path A. If not, go down path B. 
If they ask this question, go down path A. If not, go down path B. And then being able to create decision trees allows me to get all of that thinking out of my head, the processing of somebody's comments, and actually to build a map that someone can follow through like to get to the end result, like when those choose your own adventure books and they take a turn and take a turn, take a turn, they end up at a, this is how you're going to deal with this particular message. That's a super useful thing to be able to do. And this is one of those examples where actually decision trees is very useful for the more complex parts of messaging and what you want people to reply, etc. Another really simple thing to do, even simpler than that, is to get somebody to reply to any comment on any of your posts by asking a follow-up question. So first of all, acknowledging you know what the person has said. So oh, thanks very much for your comment. Love, love, love the fact that you like this post. Or like, what's your biggest take-home? Or something like, you know, what, what's your business? Or you know, where do you live? Like any question at all, just to start that conversation going. And my VAs often use. AI to help them to create those questions by just limp, simply, here's the post, here's the que here's the, the, the comment we've had, please give me a follow-up, you know, some selected follow-up uh, questions I can ask this person to continue the conversation. So we do use AI and we do, and my assistants do use AI to help them to augment them in creating comments and reactions to posts on social media. So that's the first thing is, I want people to, my team, to comment with replies uh, to comment on people's comments to ask another question and to keep that conversation going as quickly as possible. If it's left to me, it would never be done or done like very, very sporadically. But because my team's doing it, they're checking in typically two or three times a day, seeing what comments are there and then actually posting on it. Ideally, they'd be doing it all the time, but just because of, of, of people power, then we do it about three times a day typically. And then we um, also create rules. So if a specific thing happens, we do something. So for example, if we are trying to generate new leads, and I say if, because we don't do this consistently, and maybe, maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't, but the point is that when we do this, this is how we do it. Is that when somebody likes on a post of mine, whether it's on uh, Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn, on that specific channel, we'll actually send them a DM, a direct message about that post. And we'll also comment on something about them. So this is a technique borrowed from um, Alex Hormozzi's book, I think it's called A Thousand Dollar, A Million Dollar Lead, sorry, the Leads book anyway. And in that book, he talks about, or actually gives scripts for this kind of stuff. So if you, if you can get actual scripts from Alex Hormozzi's courses for free by going to acquisition.com, and checking out Alex's courses, and they're brilliant courses, by the way. I've talked about them before, but they are absolutely brilliant, and I say they're free. And so, in there, you got scripts of how you can take people in the conversations, and from there, you get, this is where we've got some of these techniques. Basically, somebody likes one of your posts, reach out to them with a simple introductory message, not offering your services, just to find out a bit more about them, to comment something personal about their social media profile, about what they've been posting, and then just ask a gentle following question to get the conversation going, and then you can nurture them into a sales pipeline or, or a lead generation pipeline. But that initial conversation, that reacting to their reaction, is a great reason for reaching out to someone personally, rather than just sending a blanketing, uh, you know, random messages that you probably get hundreds of every day or every week on, on LinkedIn and all the rest of it, with people like have no, it's not a personal comment, and if it is, it's purely AI driven, it's not actually relating back to an action they've recently done, or if it is, it's probably AI and automation built together. But even so, most of it isn't. Most of it is just blanket stuff, and that for me is just delete, delete, delete. Whereas this technique personalizes it a bit with very minimal effort, especially if you just create some scripts. As I said, you can borrow Alex Hormozzi's work on this um, to actually start putting this up into place. So we've then got a system for basically replying to people quickly to generate conversations, for dealing with people that actually like your posts. You can ask them to share the post as well, as they're just like, do you mind sharing this? You know, kind of, I'm happy to share yours, that sort of thing as well. If you thought it was good, your thumbs up, would you mind sharing it? I'm, you know, happy to reciprocate. I've already, or even even better, go and like their posts, share them, and then message them and say, hey, I see you're like, like this. Uh, would you mind sharing it? And just doing that, that first, even before asking them, there's a good chance that they will do it as well. So the, and to make all this work, and to make this work without it spending hours and hours and hours of setup, I have a meeting every single day, and I call it my comms meeting, 
And this is where we get together. So me and the comms manager who deals with all my notifications and all my emails, and we get together typically for a 15 minute meeting to go through anything we haven't currently got a process in place for, and just to e either maybe a personal thing I need to apply to, because it's my mate asking me, you know, what we're doing the weekend or something like that, or it is something we can create a, or a process for or adapt the existing process. Or maybe we realize, you know, this isn't working for some reason, we need to do some split testing of different messaging strategies, etc. And that's what happens on that meeting. And the reason we do it every single day is A, there's typically new comments every single day, so there's work to be done. There's typically a couple of things that need to be looked at by me on a, on a daily basis to keep the, the system sort of improving as we're going forward. And by doing it just 15 minutes a day, it doesn't feel like it's a big amount of work. And over the course of a couple of months, you can build up a really good system by using, as I said before, decision trees, by creating rules, so creating a spreadsheet for rules for certain uh, things that happen, like people liking what you do and someone likes your comment, you follow these steps, like I just explained, and then that way you, and then, then you've got this meeting to basically cover anything else that they don't know what to do with. And then over time, you can then reduce that meeting time as well. So you may start with half an hour a day, then go to 15 minutes, then do it twice a week, depending on you know what sort of level your uh, competence your staff get to you and also how many of these comments and things uh, you are actually dealing with. So use it as a flexible advice rather than a written rule. And that's it really. That is just a simple way to get somebody else to start dealing with your social media notifications, the initial replies to people to drive conversation, and then you can start getting creative. Like how can you then actually improve this more? Like building out decision trees, for example, using things like automation and AI, if that's you know the way you want to take things. But if you've done this with a VA and then train and then they can then train themselves on how to use the AI tools, it can be a really effective way and give them something super interesting and valuable for their resume to actually start getting their teeth into. So that's it. Quick quick podcast post today, podcast episode even today, just to really share some advice that I gave one of my clients earlier. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please let me let me please let me know. Let's get these words out please leave me a review, hit me up with some stars, or just leave a comment if you've got any questions or any thoughts about what we've been talking about today or anything else for that matter. All right, thanks very much. Take care.